Well, well, well. Hello, everybody. How are you all doing today? Chat, can you hear me? Are we all good? Are we all good? How's it going, everybody? It's so nice to see you all. Oh my gosh, it has been a hot minute since we've streamed over on YouTube. It has been a hot minute. I've been busy moving. I've been busy with life stuff. So we've, I think it's been like about three, three weeks. I was going to say three years, but it definitely hasn't been three years. However, it kind of feels like that. So it's nice to see you all. How are you all doing today? Thank you so much for popping in. How, how's it going? How's it going, everybody? Hope you're all having a fan dot fantastic day oh my gosh we are in the chill survival world today um i had a slight hiccup with my <laughs> computer be right before i started stream like literally i was about to hit the live button and like something my usb disconnected even though it wasn't disconnected so hopefully it doesn't do that hopefully it doesn't do that but we're just going to be hanging out today there's a couple projects that i want to get done in the chill survival world um i mainly just want to just kind of like vibe uh get some more villagers probably get some more food and maybe fix up like a couple of our builds here that need a little bit more decoration so we're just gonna hang out for a bit today i am also um in the path of the eclipse so i figured i get the stream started a little bit earlier because i i don't know i don't i'm not gonna watch it i don't think so i don't have the proper glasses and also i it's very cloudy here today super super cloudy in southern ontario so i don't think i'll be able to see it sadly but i figured might just like log off when it starts to uh, happen pretty wild though pretty pretty wild just gonna start collecting some carrots because we have some villagers to feed we need to uh breed a couple more villagers because i i uh I used a bunch in the last episode, which was kind of chaotic. It was a little bit of a disaster. I kept losing them and they turned into fishermen, which I don't want. I want librarians, so. So that was something. That was something else, wasn't it? That was definitely something else. So we're gonna collect a bunch of carrots. That's what I've been feeding them. It seems to work, especially because you get like a lot of uh, carrots when you harvest them. So I was like, whatevs. I was gonna do bread, but bread, it's like the one thing I don't like about it is you have to craft it. And I'm like, I'm all, I'm all about efficiency here, you know? All about efficiency. You've been learning uh, so much about Minecraft from your videos. Now I have much more fun playing it myself. Oh, that makes me so happy to hear. Well, welcome on in. Thank you so much for popping in. Also, Moon, Froggy, I see ya. Daniel, welcome in. Jared, uh, Princess, Catch, welcome on in. How you all doing? Jody, nice to see ya. Hope you're all doing well. So yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna vibe for a bit today. I don't know if any of you are in the path of the eclipse uh, at all, but let me know if you're gonna, if you're gonna be viewing it today. I have a couple friends who are going, cause I'm not in the path of totality, um, but I have a couple friends who are gonna be traveling to a spot in order to be able to see it properly. And I'm hoping the sky clears up for them. The side effects of using barrels and builds? No, literally. Literally, it's such a pain. I'm like, they're so pretty, but also it's such a risk, isn't it? Maybe stop using barrels and builds where you plan on having specific villagers. No, actually, I'm almost wondering if we should, um, if we should just like get rid of those barrels, honestly. I was also kind of thinking, because another issue that we have is that whenever i put the villagers in those little pods that they go in the librarians they always fall out i'll probably just end up keeping them in the mine carts but i don't get why when i hit the mine cart they like kind of go outside of the pod and then just start wandering around there must be some like something i'm doing wrong you know mizuko welcome on in hope you're hope you're doing well azzy so nice to see ya didn't know you were streaming today thought it was gonna be friday we are on twitch on friday let's go let's go yeah i figured i could get a get a little youtube stream back in super excited it's been a while since we've done one i think like about three ish weeks so we back we back you're in the path of totality yo that's awesome wild is the eclipse in just in north america 
I don't fully know. I think, wait, didn't it start in, it starts in like Mexico and then goes up? Is that how it happened? I think it's like, I think it's just like really reached the news a lot because um, it's basically like reaching like a lot of like city centers. Like it's going over, I think New York, right? New York, Toronto. So there's lots of people who are gonna be in its path, which is pretty wild. Super cool though. You have severe thunderstorms today, even though you're in the path. Oh no, that's too bad. Yeah, I feel like, um, I don't feel, I don't think I'm gonna be able to see much. I, I looked outside today and I was like, this isn't even just like a couple clouds. It's like a sheet of gray. Cover the pod with a lot of blocks before you break it. Then you can remove them after. Oh, okay. So like cover, let's see. Hold on a second. Let's go over there. I just want to see. I'll show you all what I'm talking about. So in the last episode, we were doing villager stuff and I was having so much trouble where the villager would just kind of like shift outside of the pod. And it was it, it was just such a nightmare. I think I lost two villagers that's that way. Two villagers. So I ended up keeping one in the cart and the fisherman is still there. For some reason, he's just like chilling with these dudes. Like he, he always comes back here. I guess maybe because his barrel's here. But he's, he's distracting them. Stop it. Stop distracting them. They're working. Oh my gosh. So I'm guess I'm guessing what you mean, Froggy, is just like completely like just cover all of this with like dirt or something. Then I was kind of picturing what I could do is maybe like go around and just like knock one of these out. And that's where I can knock out the cart. And they probably won't move then, right? It has to do with headspace. You have to make sure there's enough headspace before you pop them out. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Gotcha. Hello from Canada. You're in the path of totality. Very exciting. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Heck yeah. Can Canadians represent. Canadians represent. Yeah, don't don't burn your retinas. Don't look at it. Don't look at the sun. No, no matter how tempting it is, don't do it, chat. Don't don't look at it. Do not look at. Don't look at it unless you have those glasses. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm like, so I'm just, I'm assuming because like I'm in such like a direct path of it, like it's going to get pretty dark for a couple of minutes, isn't it? I'm a little scared. <clears throat> oh, wait, what? Because the cool thing can happen during total eclipse because the sun disappears, the atmosphere loses heat, which makes the clouds disappear. So they'll kind of like go away for that moment. That's wild. Huh? That's so cool. Didn't know why. Oh, if you put like a trap door above the job block. Oh, cool. I didn't realize you could do that. Okay, okay. Okay, things things will happen today then. Things will happen today. We're gonna get this, we're gonna get this sorted. We will fix it. Alright, let's get a bunch of carrots. We're gonna feed the other villagers, because if we if we want to get some more enchant enchantments, like books and stuff, we're gonna we're gonna need a couple more villagers. Kind of went through them all last time, so. So today we're pretty much just like gonna hang out, um, get some more villagers, base decorate a little bit. Just chill, just chill. It's been a hot minute since we've had a stream here and I am excited to be back. All right, let's get all these carrots planted. Grab as many as I can. Actually, the last time, maybe I should stop here. <laughs> Maybe I should stop here. Let the villagers do their thing because the last time I just like gave them an ungodly amount of carrots. Like it was, I gave them too many. I came back, there were like 500 villagers and I was like, oh, eh, is that a bad thing though? I don't know. I just don't know. Hi from Texas, I'm in the path of totality. Yo, awesome. I hope the weather's good for you and uh, if you got some glasses so you can like view it and all that stuff, awesome. What enchantments am I looking to get now? Okay, so we've got, what do we got chat? What do we got? 
We've got mending, unbreaking, feather falling. Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look. Yo, Jokino, thank you so much for the $9.99. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that. Hello, Drift. I'm just popping in. I was a fantasy lover, but changed my account. I have a question. Do you support? Uh, I'm not sure what that is. I am not sure, <laughs> but thank you so much. Thank you so much for the $9.99 big, big sweats. I really appreciate that. Uh, love your channel and wish you happiness. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate the kindness. Really, really appreciate it uh, for the kindness and generosity. Thank you so much. I sent a link to some cool clips uh, info in Gremlin chat. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, like I'm wondering, like, is it going to get like super dark for me? I'm a little scared. Okay, so chat, this is what we got. This is what we got. We got efficiency. We've got feather falling. We've got silk touch. So we also have mending. What else would we need? What are some good enchantments to have? Oh, I have so many in my other world, but I kind of forget, you know? Kind of forget. Not sure. We have mending over here. And also, I think unbreaking? Pretty sure. We've got all of like the main ones that you would need for like your tools and stuff. Which also, I'd like to get silk touch, I think, on my axe as well today. I think I have an extra book for that though. Love your videos. Oh, thank you so much, Meow. I appreciate it. And thanks for popping in. Um, okay. So we've got unbreaking. So what are some other good enchantments to get, chat? What are some other good enchantments? Do I not have fortune? I don't think I do. You're gonna be lurking while you cook dinner. <laughs> Behave chat and remember to like the stream. Oh, thanks, Froggy. I hope you enjoy your dinner. Thanks so much for popping in. I appreciate it. It's because of you guys started playing Minecraft uh, chill and I love the change in pace. Oh, that makes me so happy to hear. Honestly, that's the best part about Minecraft. It can be enjoyed in so many different ways. And I'm, I'm happy we all just have like a chill little community. It's super fun. Super, super fun. All right, we've already got a couple more villagers here, which is good. I'm gonna have to be careful getting out of here though, because these little guys, they always tend to run away. And that's why I had like the, the double door system going, but I took that away. Oh no, what am I gonna do here? All right, let's just like, oh, oh. Okay, block it off. I think I've fed them enough carrots. I think that's enough. I don't want to go too crazy. Otherwise, there's going to be like 5,000 villagers in there. So maybe we'll put the carrots away. Hmm. Where should I put these? Do I have a barrel over here? Did I get rid of all my barrels? Okay, maybe I'll just put them, put them in that. That's a good spot. Make sure you have t extra tools that don't have silk touch because uh, sometimes it can be annoying. So true. I actually have it on my shovel because I got that just through the enchanting table. And I've got to be honest, I hate it. I hate having to pick up just like the grass all the time. I'd rather pick up dirt. I don't know why. It just like really bothers me. Jill, welcome on in. How you doing? My boss bought me a cinnamon raisin bagel for breakfast and it's so yummy. Okay, every once in a while, like I always forget that cinnamon raisin bagels exist. And then every once in a while I rediscover them and I'm like, why are these one of the best bagels ever? They're like so underrated in a, in a way, you know? They're good with butter. They're like excellent with cream cheese. It's just like, and they're not too sweet either. They're so good. <laughs> the villager to lava interface might have to be <laughs> necessary. <laughs> Listen, we have that in our main world. I don't know if I could do that in chill survival. Nah, we'll probably get one eventually. Sometimes you just gotta, sometimes you just have to lava a villager, you know? Sometimes you just gotta do it. All right, I think that's good for the carrots for now. So we should be okay. Fabrics, welcome on in. How you doing? Do you ever feel bored in your world? If so, do you have any tips on how to not get bored and what to do when you're bored? That's actually a really good question because I think that is like a huge thing i mean honestly my thing is to like 
I know this is not necessarily a good thing, but sometimes like, especially in my stream world, I have a lot of projects going at once. So if I want something like adventure oriented, I can like go do that. If I have something um, that's more geared towards just building, I have like a project to work on uh, for that. You know what I mean? I think it's like having different types of projects that kind of do different things for you um, can most often help. I do feel that though, like that's that was a huge struggle for me, especially like starting out in Minecraft because I didn't know what to do after I built like a starter house and a mine. I would just like give up and start a new world, you know? Rofo, homie, welcome on in. How you doing? Love the background music that you use on some of your chill survival series. I mostly like uh, as lovely as you. That is such a great song, right? That is such a great song. I appreciate you saying that though. I love going through um through like epidemic playlists and picking out music. It's so fun. Came across your 100 day cozy farm video and ever since you've been my new comfort Minecraft channel. Oh, Calvin, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for popping in and saying that. I hope you're having a great day. Do you have any tips on improving at uh, building? I love your builds, but I'm not really sure how to improve. I guess my biggest piece of advice would be honestly like my thing is like always push past like the failures. I fail a lot when building. I have a creative world. Um, if you don't have like a creative flat world, I recommend getting one because then you can kind of like you can fly around to build a lot more easily, uh, pick out pallets easier and you don't have to worry about like, you know, like survival and surviving and all that stuff and not being able to build something freely. Um, as soon as I started with a creative world, I think I started to learn a lot more because of that. Like it just gave me a lot more freedom and movement and like block choice and stuff. So I would say like kind of like hashing out ideas in a world like that and then bringing them into your survival world. And then soon enough, you'll kind of be able to do more like freestyle and stuff like that. But a big thing for sure is honestly like pushing past like the ugly stage, I would say. There's always, I find that like, especially when I'm building, I feel like there's always like an ugly stage in my builds and I'm like, oh man, what do I do to fix this? Sometimes all it takes is like, honestly walking away from a build for a while and then coming back and you'll have that like, aha moment, you know? He agrees, he just went, huh, aha, uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Recently found your channel kind of pushed me to finally branch out into stuff like redstone and auto farmers. Oh my God, that makes me so happy because I, I felt the same way about like redstone and stuff too. I'm slowly learning. I I feel like I always felt very um like overwhelmed by the thought of using redstone, especially because like I've, I saw them in the context of like mega farms and then realizing like, oh, I could make a sugar cane farm but on a smaller scale. That was like kind of a game changer for me, you know? Definitely a game changer. My husband and I have recently found your channel, been binging your movies. We love them and you're so creative. Oh, Ivy, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And thanks for popping into the stream today. 100 likes and Drift does a 260 no scope. What is a 260 even? Is it? Is that it? Is that a 260? Maybe that, just a little bit. It's just a little bit of a turn. Don't even, don't even. I guess I'll, I'll, I guess I'll have to play Fortnite on Friday then. Oh no. I guess I have no choice. I'm just gonna um, breed some cows because I think I need to get some more leather. Do I need leather? No, I just, I have a ton of books still, don't I? I want to make some more bookshelves, I think. Or no, lecterns, lecterns. I think we're good with the books, actually. Let's see. <laughs> Jody, you're re you're really uh, you're really you're really wanting the lava today, aren't you? You're really wanting the lava interface. You know, maybe maybe on Friday, maybe on Friday we will do that. Just for you, Jody. See all these fishermen. I really should switch out all these barrels, shouldn't I? I really should, but they're just so aesthetically cool. <sighs> I 
All right, so we've got these guys. We talked about the enchantments that we had earlier. I don't think we have fortune. So I think maybe we should work on getting fortune. Um, Maybe flame? Infinity would be a good one because I used that on my bow. Are there any that I'm missing for our armor? Because right now I have... Ooh, my diamond chest plate's not great. <clears throat> Neither is my um helmet. Pants are okay. We have protection. <gasps> Do we not have protection? Maybe I could get protection. That'd be a good one. All right, I'm going to write this down in my brain chat. No, I'm not. I'm going to forget and I'm going to keep asking you all. Going to keep asking you all. What are we building or making today? So I think today we're just going to do some cleanup around the base. What is that? Is that? Oh, no. I need to fix that. Um, so nothing like crazy planned for today. Just some maintenance after. Uh, I always find that after doing a couple of episodes, there's always just like little things that need to be fixed around the base. So we're probably going to get some more enchantments, uh, do a little bit of base decorations. We also do have a project that we left on stream a couple weeks ago. I don't know if any of you remember this. So this is our tree farm, right? This is our little tree farm. But if you go in here, there's a little outhouse. Just a little wee little outhouse with a sink, of course. This is supposed to be the toilet. But down in the toilet is actually this weird room that somebody said looks like Freddy Krueger's sweater, which it really does. And this was just supposed to be like a little secret base room, kind of overlooking this. This was just supposed to be a little secret stream project. So we could also just work on this, honestly. If you all want to do some building and stuff, we have a we have a full room to fix up, which is um Freddy Krueger's sweater. Yeah. <laughs> the sweater room, basically. Do you have a plan for the future to do another modded series? So I'm going to be continuing in the farmland build for sure. Um, I'm going to be doing a 200 days. I'm going to be starting that very soon. And then after that, definitely. I don't know what I would do next. Uh, still got to brainstorm it. But like even I've even wanted to try out like fantasy. Minecraft is a good one. Um, I'd like to maybe go through better Minecraft again. I really enjoyed it when I played it with Blockdown. Uh, I feel like we scratched the surface of it, though. That mod pack is huge. So there definitely will be some more modded stuff in the future, for sure. What's the world seed? If you do exclamation point seed, I think... Um, I think you can... Uh, you can get it if stream, if stream elements has showed up. It doesn't always show up here. Ah! Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Oh no! Keep doing that. Where is. I'm just gonna free cam it to see. Oh, there it is. Right underneath me. Is this the world seed? Wait, Rofa, are you talking about the seed? The seed? Are you talking about the. The Rofo seed? It's not. It's not. I haven't played in that seed in a long time. That was gonna be a long play world that kind of never really came to be, actually. Unfortunately, because it's a really good seed. <clears throat> oh my gosh. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Sorry. I'm trying to clear my throat. This always happens, chat. This always happens. I come back to st uh, streaming and I lose my voice immediately. It's a little unsettling, the room. Yeah, it kind of is, right? <laughs> I'm like, do I change it? Because it's a little terrifying, but it's also kind of funny. I feel like at this point we should commit to the Freddy Krueger uh, room. We should do. We should work on it today. Okay, let's let's work on a little bit of it today. Let's do it, chat. Let's do it. Can I know where you, uh, I get where I get my build inspiration from? I get it from like a lot of places, honestly, like real life architecture. But another like really good place I would suggest is like kind of comb through Pinterest. There's a lot of like illustrations and um, just like Pinterest is full of that stuff, like game art illustrations, illustrations for like of just like fantasy houses and stuff. Highly recommend uh, checking that out. 
Did I just hear about you continuing the 100 days? Absolutely you did, sir. You absolutely did. We are going to be doing 200 days in that world, which makes me really happy because there's a lot of things that I kind of didn't get the chance to do because 100 days actually flew by. It's shockingly. I was like, I'm not, I'm going to run out of stuff to do by 100 days. But by the end of it, I was like, you know what? I probably could have accomplished a lot more, which was very wild to me. Very, very wild. I had so much fun with it, though, and I'm so happy you all enjoyed it as well because it was super fun to make. So we're definitely going to be continuing in that world for sure. Uh, Books, books, books. Books, 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 books. Do I not have any more? I feel like I have them. I just can't see them, but that's okay because I have so much paper. I can grab a bunch of leather. I just want to kind of like mark out a couple more. Stop talking. Stop it. Stop distracting them. They are busy studying. Yeah, you you get on. <gasps> that was rude. That was so rude, dude. Oh, yeah. You're pretending to peruse the books now. You're pretending to peruse the books. Get out of here. You had your chance. You had your chance to become a librarian. So rude. So rude. All right. How am I going to do this? Should I just like want to block that off? Maybe just do something like that. Then we could get like fortune, protection, and then these barrels. I might have to get rid of these barrels, honestly. Otherwise, they're just going to latch on, you know? Let's go to bed really quickly. Remember copying your first house in your first video? It's kind of strange that you use most spruce in your walls, but it's cute though. Oh my gosh, Mizuko! I, I remember that one. Like, wait, are we talking about the one in my first Let's Play series? I used, I used to use a lot of spruce back then. I still do, but I mostly use it for the beams. But before, it was like mostly everything was made of spruce. It was, it was ridiculous. But like, you know what? It's very. That's so drift. That's why I've gotten like the um everybody's like you love spruce and i'm like you know what you ain't wrong especially watch my old series oh my gosh i use spruce for every single thing you know every once in a while i love making just a good old spruce cabin though holy lisa with the 10 what the heck thank you so much i really appreciate it um combine my names morikai and lisa fogel glad you're back missed ya uh your farming 100 days inspired me to do my own uh though mine and modded ha happy to hear you are continuing yours oh lisa thank you so much that's so so kind and generous uh for that super chat thank you so so much big big swags all the love all of the hype and so happy to be back uh streaming with you all again it's been a hot minute been super super busy this month but i am very much glad to be back all right, so we've got two more quadrants for these dudes. We're gonna have to get like, probably some, cause you can't put rails on stairs, right? We're just gonna have to get full blocks here. And then we can probably move a couple guys over. That'll work. This is my first time catching you live and I'm excited about it. Uh, do you use any kind of chunk loader? So stuff like crops and baby mob, mobs uh, growing uh, happens while you're running around doing stuff. I actually don't, but that's a very good idea. I never considered that. I never considered that I could... We To be fair though, we do often use um, a chunk loader called Chunky on like our servers, usually when we're doing SMPs and stuff, but I've never considered that I could just use it for my own uh worlds that's very smart i should look into that all right i'm gonna start getting some of these tracks laid out i took some away for the thumbnail now i need to bring them back let's get some of these laid out Are you going to do a lighthouse in your chill survival series? Honestly, I would like to do one. I've, I've really enjoyed doing um doing lighthouses for sure. Especially since I did that like commentary long play where I I think I've gotten more confident with building stuff like lighthouses and windmills. Those were kind of like 
a little bit difficult for me before, but now I've gotten the hang of them. So definitely would like to give that a shot. All right. Oh, does that not curve up? Oh no. What the? Why not? Huh? What? Oh, you know what? I should, I know I, I know how I can fix this. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got this. I got this. Welcome back. Can't wait to see what you do this stream. Oh, thanks so much. I appreciate it. It's very, very nice to be back. Very, very nice to be back with you all. All right, let's do this. Do I have enough power just to like bring it up like this? I think a rail right there would be fine because I don't think I can power it there. That should be fine. You're amazing at building. I wish I could uh, build like you, but I'm not as good as you. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Honestly, I, I just got to say practice. Practice is the most important thing ever. And just like kind of pushing through, pushing through on builds. Cause like, if you kind of like, if you're not like happy with how a build has turned out and like you can kind of assess why and learn how to fix it, you'll know that for next time too, right? So I think if you just keep, oh my gosh, oh, oh my gosh, I'm losing my voice chat. If you just keep practicing, you'll be fine. I need to take a sip of water. I think that's what I need to do. Oh my gosh. I was like, if you keep... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> wow, so relaxing and calming to listen to. <laughs> you all must be loving this right now. <laughs> How long um are we streaming for? So I think we're going to be streaming for a couple of hours. Let's see, it's 1223 right now. When does the eclipse start? Because I might head off around the time that it starts. I think it's supposed to hit Toronto around two o'clock. And for build inspirations, I um I mentioned this before, but I highly recommend just checking out uh, Pinterest. Pinterest has a lot of uh, really nice illustrations of builds and stuff and like real life reference photos. Really, really recommend checking that out. Wouldn't it be lovely to leave some rails as if there was a train going around the village? That's a really good idea. That, and I think once somebody suggested um, doing like a, like burying the rails underground would be really cool too. And also useful. So we could have like, maybe what we could do is have it like an underground subway system and have like subway stops. That'd actually be kind of cool. Huh. The brain's, the brain's a-going, chat. The brain is a-going. Oops. Come on, go, go, go. There we go. Off you go. All right, there's another one. I have two sides of Minecraft being mean at the villager, uh, scared to hit them because they increase their trading. No, literally. <laughs> Literally, I am. So, I feel like I'm so passive aggressive with them. And then once it comes time to like actually like break the cart, I'm like, don't worry, it's fine, guys. <laughs> Subway idea sounds really good, actually. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool, right? I never really considered that before. Chat, we've got we've got the the gears are turning in my brain. You stay away from him. You can, don't influence this guy to become a fisherman. Stay away. I started a new world after pulling in the Discord, which biome I should settle in. I saw that by the way. The Windswept Hills won and I have uh, ample coal now. Oh, I'm jealous. What is it like? What is it like to have a constant supply of coal? <laughs> Jag. Oh my gosh. Ah! Get out of here. Stop it. Is there... Okay. Should I ever use the fishermen for anything? They don't really have much, though. I don't know. I was like, are, do they have any valuable trades? I don't think so. 
See, the zombie method, I haven't done the zombie method since like, I think like my first ever Let's Play that I did and the trades were so good, but the zombification method was just such a pain. I was like, I don't know if I ever want to do this again. Santiago, welcome on in. How you doing? Nozo, welcome on in as well. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, they're spinning on the tracks. It's fine. It's fine. No! Okay, he's gone. He's lost. I don't have a good system set up right now. Why are they running around so fast? Do they really... Do they usually run that fast? Jody, you might get your wish. I might have to... I might have to lava <laughs> some villagers eventually. I have so many running around the base now. So many. Okay. He's gonna... These two are gonna escape. These two are absolutely gonna escape. They're literally just waiting to leave. Can you stop hovering? Can you stop? Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm just gonna get the dirt ready. I don't have a good system right now. I probably should have blocked that area off, but we're just gonna give this... We're just gonna deal with it. We're just gonna deal with it, chat. Just do that. And he's off. He's off. They buy strings and fish. That's about it. I guess string would be nice if I had a spider spawner. I don't, though, in this world. So not really much of a use. It's 12.30 a.m. We have to sleep. No worries. Hope you have a uh, good night. Thank you so much for hanging out. <laughs> Jody, you're, you're too far too happy about this. They're always, yeah, the, the little villagers are always running around. They can't sit still. You know what? I feel that though. I feel that. That's me even today. I, it is impossible for me to sit still. I don't know why. Like I always have to be doing something, you know? I always have to be doing something. The bad and naughty villagers get thrown into the fires of Mordor. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> like literally though. Listen, we can't, the, they cause us too much lag. That, like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it, but it, like sometimes it's like a, ne a necessity. The villagers cause so much lag sometimes. Okay. <laughs> They're fighting to get out, but they have everything they need in there. It's such a nice little spot. Why, why don't they want to be there? What's going on? All right, how do I make a lectern? There we go. Two lecterns, and I guess maybe we should just start rolling. Except I might try the thing that Froggy suggested. Let's let's give it a shot. Let's give it a fair shot. So maybe, oops, not that. Maybe we just like cover everything, right? Like a triple layer. Oops. And then let's try to break it on the other side. Holly, welcome on in. Been watching your videos for a while. I actually thought I'd subscribe because of how much your videos are on my feed. Oh, that makes me so happy to hear. Thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day. Um, do you plan on more uh, playing more Skyblock? I I think if I were to revisit Skyblock, I would do the more traditional one. I did one block last time and it was really fun, but I think I'd like the challenge of like the uh, old school Skyblock. All right. Oh, that's the wrong one. That could have been, that could have been bad. Don't look at me. Stop it. Stop looking at me. Okay, ready? Hope this works. Oh, God. Oh, this is pain. Sev, homie, so nice to see you. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good one. Okay. Big shout out to my homie, Sev. All right, let's break this. Yes! Big shout out to Froggy for telling me to do that because it actually worked. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's replace this again. 
There we go. And then let's break all of this. Should be okay. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh, so much is happening. So many bad things are happening. I need a... Sir, can you step away? He's just hovering, you know? He's just hovering. Gotta go, but have a nice stream. Oh, thank you so much, Fabrics, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. You're chilling with your spaghetti? What type of spaghetti you got? Just like a classic spaghetti and meatballs? I'm kind of like craving pasta. I haven't had it in a couple days. Last night we made like a really good, okay, here we go on the food talk, but sorry. I just have to tell you all about, I think I'm in my salad era. I'm pretty sure. Last night we made this really good salad. Um, It was with chicken, but we like kind of seasoned it. So it was like chipotle and like cumin and stuff on the chicken. It was shredded. And then we made a like a chipotle dressing from scratch and just put like a bunch of really good stuff on it, like almonds and cucumbers. And it was just a really good salad. Like, I think I'm in my salad era. I think this is it for me. I love salad now, you know? It was so good. Hey, hello? Why, why are you shoving me? Stop it. Have you ever played better Minecraft? I have. I played it with Blockdown. We did a, a a 100 days and it was super fun. Like I had so much fun with better Minecraft. Honestly, I would I would love to do a either another 100 days on it. I don't know if that's redundant or um some type of like mini series. Right now though, if you're all into better Minecraft content, uh Brickella Go check her out. She has a whole series on it right now and she is absolutely killing it. She's doing so good with it. The Jollibee spaghetti is so different, but so good. Okay, I want to try Jollibee so bad. It kind of just like recently came to Canada and they're everywhere now. And I want to try the spaghetti in particular. It looks good. Man, well, welcome on in and thank you so much for the four. 99 oh my gosh thank you so so much thanks for going live today love how this world is building up and transforming into such a beautiful place oh thank you so much for the kind words i appreciate it and honestly this world this area just keeps like transforming so quickly i think that's like what's kind of shocking about it is like how i think i mentioned I, i've mentioned this in videos a bunch but like after we put the farmland in i think that's when things really started taking off and I don't know. It just looks so different now. I love it. But thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that. Big, big swags. Are you going to do a restaurant in your chill survival series? Ooh, a restaurant. You know, I probably will. You can't make much with vanilla Minecraft, but we can use our power of imagination. Also, librarian man, if you could use your the power of knowledge to latch onto this. I don't know. See, this is another issue I was having. Where, like, they won't always, like, latch onto the lectern very quickly. And sometimes it just... It, uh oh Oh, no! Are you okay, sir? Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. It's all good. It's, it's all good, dude. It's all good. No, no worries. No worries. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh, oh, he fell! <laughs> no, he fell down! <laughs> okay, let's get you back up. I think I pushed you a little bit too much. <laughs> Hopefully by the time we finish dealing with this dude, it'll be fine. The other villager will, like, figure his stuff out and it's all gonna be good. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh jeez. Recently found your channel about a week ago. Your long building videos are great uh, vibes. Just chill out within the background. Ha hope you have a great day. Oh, thank you so much for saying that. I appreciate it. I'm so happy you all enjoy the... Um, I hope you all... In I'm so happy you all enjoy the commentary long plays because I really enjoy making those. It's been a hot minute since we've been in the on, on the uh, Lighthouse Island world, but got to get back to that soon for sure. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. 
Sorry, sir. Sorry I did that. All right, we're gonna, I think because I have, I had like one block missing, I'm gonna put the wall entirely back and then we'll figure it out. When they don't latch, it might be their social time instead of work time. I did not realize that villagers had social time and work time. Are they really this, this complex? Are you all this complex? Is it kind of like the, how they have like their time of day where they like gather around the, uh, the bell? Is that what it is? So wild. Oh, I think you're right though. Cause look, and that happened to me last time too, where, um, <clears throat> basically what happened was he just would not latch onto the lectern. And then I came back and all of a sudden he's like, I am so ready to read books now. It's not even funny. And I was like, dude, what took you so long? What the heck? If you're gonna get the spaghetti from Jollibee, you need to get the spicy chicken too. Noted. Noted. My scripts are the best. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> you prefer the commentary on the long plays? I'm glad, because I honestly, like, even with making them, I prefer doing long plays with commentary. It's more fun for me, to be honest. So I'm glad you all enjoy it. Leveling them up uh, with trading heals them. It does? Huh? What, what did I just break? Oh, the track. I was like, what? There we go, okay. He's vibing. He's vibing. Certified viber over here. Honestly, I wish I wish villagers were just easier to deal with. I don't know what I would want, but I just wish it was like things were a little bit easier with them. Like I at this point I'm like at first I was like, "Oh, it's just the charm of villagers, you know? It's just the charm." Now I'm not so sure. I just think it's just a pain in the butt, you know? Just, I'm not sure about it, chat. I'm not sure. Wolves attacking uh, foxes surprised you? Okay, yes. Seeing mobs go aggro on each other is terrifying. I honestly assumed that all like animals in Minecraft just like lived peacefully amongst each other. Like they were all chilling with each other. They're all just vibing. Oh, oh my gosh, that scared me. But no, that's not a thing. Juggling two of these at once is a little bit of a task for me. I don't know if I have the mental capacity to be able to do this. The brain space, if you will. And also the sun setting. I don't think they want to trade right now. So we should probably go to bed. Villager social time is humming, grump, grunting, and throwing potatoes and shutting doors. But they also occasionally chase after barrels. Wow, sounds a lot like my social time, you know? Oh, he had to learn how to read first. Okay, got it, got it. Now he's figured it out. He's like, I'm ready to rock. Otter, welcome on in. How you doing? All right. We mean business here. Piercing, do not want that. I should probably make more books though. I just realized before we get like too into this, we're gonna have to trade books. We have tons of emeralds but we're gonna need books in order to trade with them because they love, they love the Twilight books. So let's get a couple of those ready. I have a ton of paper. I just need to get some leather, which is no issue because I fed the cows like a ton. So let's go do that. Awesome series, I love how everything's coming along. Quick question, what are the specs on your PC? Oh, if you do um, exclamation point Twitch, in my bio, there's like a whole breakdown of my PC if you want to check it out. I will be upgrading soon. Also, chat, can I confess something to you? Can I please confess something to you? This has been weighing on me. So I recently moved, right? I recently moved and we were rearranging my office, which you'll all see on Friday, right? Because I'm going to be on Twitch and I go on tw uh, camera for Twitch. Anyway. When we, were re when we were rearranging stuff, I may have dropped my PC. I may have dropped my PC and I'm gonna knock on wood right now. 
but it ain't looking good. I thought it was fine because it it's turned on. It, it turned on just fine. Like, don't get me wrong. And I've been like, I've been like start like making videos on it and stuff, but it's been doing weird things. <laughs> And I have a feeling it might be like my motherboard or something. I don't know. I'm a little bit worried. Cause like even just before I started stream, if somebody is like a computer expert and wants to diagnose this, you can try. Because just before I started stream, it like completely disconnected my Go XLR, even though it was plugged in. And it was like, there's nothing here. And I had to like replug it in and all this stuff and troubleshoot it. And like, it, things are just, even like Minecraft, it was like freezing a little bit earlier. Did it bounce? <laughs> it didn't bounce. Literally what it did was it tipped sideways and went splat. I dropped it. <laughs> it was, we were moving my desk and I, I don't know what happened if like a cord kind of like got tugged or something or like, I think we hit it with the the desk leg and it literally just like tipped over on its side and it made the worst sound I've ever heard and I was like oh that ain't good I hope it's fine <laughs> yeah I don't I <laughs> it didn't sound good but like I've been using it since okay that happened like I think like a couple weeks ago and like the things that I've noticed is now like I was like trying to exit Minecraft and it was like freezing and stuff. It's never done that before. I don't know. Something, yeah, I was wondering if something was loose too. Something could be loose. You would check to see if all the cables uh, and check the sockets. Okay, I'm gonna take it apart again this week and see if I can find anything because honestly, like it seems to be running fine otherwise. Like I haven't noticed any other issues. It's just every once in a while, it's like the USBs are like starting to like not be recognized. And then also the weird thing with the freezing, which doesn't has never happened with my computer before. It could be the CPU uh, cause of the big heat sink on it. You might have to reset it. Oh no, that's worst case scenario. That's worst case scenario, Azzy, why? Why? That's just pain. I don't want to touch a CPU though. No! Put it in the laundry. That, see, that's what I was thinking. Just run it through like a cycle. You know what I mean? It'll be fine. Another streamer was complaining about PC issues and apparently there was a recent Windows update that's causing an issue for a lot of folks. Honestly, it could be that. I recently had to... um do a reset on my PC. I had I, I had to do like a an entire like reboot because a couple of uh, updates, I've had this PC for like a long time. I've just been doing like upgrades to it as I go along. So I've had it for like about 10, almost 10 years now. I'd say like seven years. And this thing has gone through tons of upgrades, but the SSD is old. So like, it's just like with so much re rewriting on it, it just has like gotten very clunky. I did a reset a while back. It really fixed things because I noticed that m the past couple Windows updates that I had, they would just like, they'd stop midway through and like literally not do anything. There was like, um, there was, I think one update that I literally had to just turn off my PC because it was on, it, the update went for like over three hours and it just wasn't doing anything. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> just drop it on the other side to balance it. <laughs> okay, should we do it together? Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Imagine. Feed your PC enchanted fish. These are all great suggestions. Now they have to read. Yeah, they have to relearn how to read. This is going to take forever. Why are, you, why are you both just... Why don't you want to read? Reading's good for you. It's good for the brain. One of your of our pet cats like is watching your videos with me and she's sitting with me at the moment. Oh my god, Nova, that's so sweet. That makes me so happy. Ruth, my cat, loves Stardew videos. I don't know what it is, but... Stardew. Stardew's the best. She, I think it's like the movement of the flowers and stuff, the way like it sways in the wind. She's just like obsessed with it. It's so funny. 
if that's all that happened, you'll be okay. If the socket is smashed or the CPU is cracked, then you're screwed. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I might have to do, I might have to take it apart this week and see what's up. Might have to. Honestly, for me, I'm like, as long as I have everything backed up on my, like, on my external drive and stuff, like my world, I'm fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I really don't want that to happen, but like, my biggest fear is losing all of my hard work, you know? Molly, welcome on in. Love your videos uh, for watching while I work. Oh, that makes me so happy to hear. Well, welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a great day. Is Ruth enjoying the new place? Listen, Ruth loves it here. She has so many new windows to look out. Uh, we also have a balcony now, so we can leave, like, the screen door open. She can, like, just lay by the door and just listen to the birds. And, like, she is just so happy. It's so sweet. She's... Um, you can tell she's like, she has like a routine now. When we first moved, she was like, what do I do? And she would just like follow us around like all day and like not really know what to do. But now she has like this, like her little nap spots. She has like, like playtime spots. She loves the stairs. It's so sweet. Do you know me later by the time my brother sent a computer to someone who'd won it on eBay? The CPU got absolutely obliterated. Oh my gosh, I need to hear about this. Read your PC some Twilight to calm it down. See, this is that's what I'm thinking. I feel like if we just like, you know, like let the PC just kind of chill, we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to take it apart. Maybe, the, honestly, it could be something as simple as like something's loose, you know? <clears throat> I'm, I'm hoping for the best, though. It's just weird, though, because it's not, like... It doesn't happen, like, every, like, every day. Like, I'm on my PC pretty much every day, and it's not, like, a daily occurrence of something going weird. It's only every couple of days. So I'm not sure. Oh, Mizuko, I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm really, really sorry. I know you've been super busy, so I hope the move went great. I really missed your streams while you were away. So happy you're streaming today. Oh, and yeah, thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate that. And honestly, I've missed these streams so much too. I was looking at my live tab last night and I was like, oh my gosh, it's been literally three weeks since we've done a live on YouTube. Like that's wild. And even the Twitch streams have like run pretty short. So I'm really, really happy to be back. These guys, see, they're not latching on. I feel like if I leave them for a bit, you know? Do I just like let them be? What What's going on? What is this? Is it not trading hours? What is this, a stock market? Like, come on. It's almost evening. What is this? That's what I don't get. This happened last time in, um, in the last episode. I was like, are they just like not latching to it? Cause they're like, they're right in front of it, though. I don't understand. Sometimes it's like instant, and then other times it takes forever. So weird. <laughs> Do these guys have any work ethic at all? <laughs> I love how we're just like, we're getting very like technical with this. Hmm. It isn't the beds though, is it? Or is it? Evenings when they get off work and start socializing. Okay, so I do have like a small window. To the lava. You all just want me to lava a villager so bad. <laughs> like so bad. Oops, that's my storage closet. We don't need to go in there. Don't look at the mess. We need to build a storage room in this world soon, chat. We really do. Okay, fine. Maybe we'll lava something. They can get distracted? Is that a thing? Do the Are the villagers really that, like, sentient? Should I, like, try to block this off a little bit more? Like, do something like this? No talking to anybody else. I know that they, like, socialize amongst one another, right? Like, if I were to break this block, they would, like, be like, hey... Drift, drift is the worst. Like, give her a, a, a worse deal, you know? 
They're trying to get to the barrels. Do you think so? Should I just break these? Yeah, I probably should have done this in a more like isolated spot or something. Stop trying to pathfind. Stop being distracted. Is this what it's like to like deal with me, Infinite Drift? Because I'm constantly distracted. I feel like I'm just getting like a taste of my own medicine, you know? I wonder if the, do, the bookshelves aren't really an issue, are they? I could probably swap them out. Put a trap door over their face. Hey, look at that. Did that work? No way. No way. Oh my gosh. I think it's working. Yo, it worked. Oh, look at that. You learn something new. So even though they're like contained in a spot, they might still try to pathfind to something, something else. I didn't realize that. Thank you. That's really cool. Maybe if you hold a lava bucket in front of them, it'll scare them. <laughs> okay, we're not going to threaten the villagers here. Okay, maybe we will later. I don't know. <laughs> depends on, depends on our, uh, our patience with them. Oh, come on. I got rid of all the barrels. What what could it possibly be now? You were doing so well. Come on. Come on, you were doing so well before. What could this possibly be now? If it's in range, they try to get to it. Okay, interesting. I think those are the only... Oh, nope, there's still one more. There's still... One, two... I'm getting rid of all of them. They cannot be trusted, you know? There we go. Feel like that would cover the radius in which they'd all be uh, looking for barrels. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I need to, I really do need to read up on mob mechanics, honestly. There's a lot more to the villagers than I realize, you know? There really is. So we're going for what? Efficiency and... Wait, we have efficiency. We are going for... I think... Protection and... Yeah, protection and infinity, I think, are the two that I want. Come on. Come on. Villagers are so annoying sometimes, honestly. Oh, infinity! Oh, that's the one I want. Okay, perfect. So we'll grab that, lock that in, and then... All we need is protection four, and then we're good to go. Yes! Aqua, affinity. Come on, protection. Should do some shops and chill survival. I would love to set up like a little market or something eventually as well. For sure. Yeah, it was protection. Protection four is the next one we're uh, trying to get. There we go. Efficiency five? Really? I have efficiency, right? I'm pretty sure I do. Let me just double check. Yeah, that's the one. That one took me... Oh, wait, no. That one took me, like, three rolls. It was wild. I just set him down, and he basically gave it to me, like, right away. Yeah, literally 245 minutes of uh, trades coming up. Sometimes you can get so unlucky with trades. It is wild. So unlucky. Other times, it's, like, it's instant, you know? Isn't it the worst when, like, you're like, oh, I want mending and it takes you forever to get it and then once you finally lock that in you're onto another villager and that one gives you mending like right away and for cheaper i swear it always it always ends up being that way see mending that's pretty expensive though i think the guy that i have in the other house though is more expensive than that like it's wild how much it costs 
I remember getting that for the first time and also not having like an iron farm or anything set up. And I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm going to have to take out a loan just to buy this book. Anyone know why villagers won't breed sometimes? I know they need enough beds and ample food. Is there anything else? As far as I know, that's like the main things that they need. Oh, did I seriously just get it? <gasps> I did. Yes. Okay. We got protection four. Look at that. Good to go. We did it. That was so easy. It's too easy. What What is going to happen next? What is going to happen next, chat? Because that was too easy. Oops. Where did I put that? Huh? What? How did that end up up there if I... Oh, because of the, the torch. The torch. Okay, I see. Whoa, for a second I was like, what is this magic? It's, it's not magic. It was just a torch in the way. OP, welcome on in. Uh, it's a new subscriber. Love your videos. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. One time I was trying to get Mendy, it took literal hours. I had to walk away from my computer. No, seriously, I've had I've had trades like that too. It, you were looking for fortune, it took you literally six Minecraft days. So each Minecraft day, were you sleeping? Because each Minecraft day is what, like eight minutes? I forget the timing, but that's a long time. Eight Minecraft days is like no joke. <laughs> Castaways, uh, the villager trades took ages and I, I was swearing at them and Red was witnessing it all. <laughs> Seb. Remember that villager? Um, what was the villager that we found in the cave? And then I think a creeper blew it up in Castaways. That was so funny. Villagers was a, was a task on Castaways because we didn't... Uh, we didn't have a village close to us, so we actually had to rely on zombie villagers. It was a fun task, but like, it was so funny. All right, let's bring this back. Should make a torch, uh, torch plant farm. Okay, I need to make like an actual working farm. Can I show you all something? <laughs> Let's go over to the Sniffer Sanctuary for one second. Your axolotls disappeared. I'm like, would something have eaten them? Because we were talking about this earlier, how some Minecraft mobs like can be hostile towards one another. Very weird if they despawned. Or something, maybe like one of them got like caught in a block and like died or something. Sometimes that happens too. So I have one sniffer here and he's just like, he's just been in the hot tub the entire time. And then I, the other day I was, I need to close off this sniffer farm. There's, there's some flaws in it. It looks cool, but there's, there's a, there's a couple flaws. So if you go over here, maybe we should do operation bring back the sniffers today. Uh, where are they? They were here. <laughs> They're in a pit. They're in a pit. <laughs> oh, I'm the worst. I'm the worst keeper of the sniffers. I'm the worst. Oh no. Do I, I feel like we should bring bring them back to their home, eh? I feel like we should. My favorite part was how you and Red were so upset and I was like, ooh, gold. Yeah, Seb, you you were like, you were over it. You were over it. I was mostly sad about losing that villager because we, it takes so long to find zombie villagers sometimes. Uh, yes, chat, if, uh, if you need a break or anything, actually, we should probably take a quick little break, uh, in a second. Uh, let me just go to sleep and maybe get some leads and get those sniffers and then we'll go for a quick little break. Oh my gosh, Ian, thank you so much for the 2790. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that. I hope you don't take offense to this, but I've been watching your videos before bed and they've been helping a lot with my insomnia. Oh my gosh, no offense taken whatsoever. That is always such a wonderful compliment to hear. I love, 
I love that you all watch these to like relax, uh, hang out, sleep, all of that stuff. Never take any offense to that. And thank you so, so much again for that. I really appreciate that. Re really appreciate it. That's very, very kind. Big, big swags to Ian. Big swags. All right, I need a... Uh... Can I get a... I need a lead. Friendly mob loot. Let's get these leads and let's get these little sniffy boys. Yeah, I need to like actually... I need to like fix the wall in the sniffer sanctuary because it's it ain't working. I thought I patched it up, but they're definitely climbing on top of some of the blocks and just uh just getting out. Yeah, it's Jody, it's post it's post rave. That's why. They they just partied too hard, okay? I know they just want to explore. But also at the same time, I'm like, I feel like this pit is no good place to explore, you know? a safe way for them to get down or get up i think oh yeah we can we can get them from here bruh oh my gosh snuffles is that you dude how'd you get down here you guys are so sneaky i'm gonna do a two block gap there we go there we go they're chilling they're chilling let's bring them back they kind of run fast i mean I feel like I'm sort of dragging them. But why do, why do they move so quickly? Well, look at them. They're like hyperspeed right now. But they're also trying to smell at the same time. They're like... <laughs> like, what is that? What are you doing? Oh, sniffers are so goofy. Can't fall asleep uh, without anymore without somebody talking to me. You're in long plays. Help a lot. Oh, that makes me so happy to hear. So, so happy to hear. Okay, this is really weird, but since I've moved, because I've been, I was pretty much the same, like, same thing, um, when I was in my old apartment, and I don't know if it was just, like, city noise that was just too loud, and I didn't realize it, but ever since we've moved, because we've moved to somewhere a lot quieter, and we don't have, like, noises of, like, streetcars and garbage and all that stuff going by, I have been sleeping like a baby. I feel like the, the noise of the city was, like, actually distracting me and i never realized it because I, I would have to do the same thing i'd have to put something on to fall asleep oh my gosh dude you're killing me oh my gosh for a second i was like did i spawn in the nether no it's just it is just a sniffer i'm gonna bring him back one one at a time this is too much too much oh my gosh you too leads are so broken please Please help. Come on. What are you getting stuck on? It's a grass block, homie. Ruth was looking so earnest. Honestly, why does why does Minecraft Ruth look like IRL Ruth? It is just like it's uncanny. It's even like the attitude that the Minecraft cat has. It's the same as as my little Ruthie. Cass, so nice to see you. How you doing? Thanks for popping in. I'm trying to find the safest way down here. Like, how did they escape without taking damage? Am I I'm gonna have to go through the roof? Come on. We're gonna do a bit of a stunt, okay? Just a little bit of a stunt. Are you ready? Come on. Whoop! Oh! Oh! Oh no! Come on! Ow! Okay, he's down! Oh my gosh! Snuffles! No! Oh man! Are you okay, dude? Oh, he's vibing. He's vibing. He's chilling. He's fine. Chai, he's fine. He's totally fine. Okay, we're gonna get that dude. Um, that dude's in here. We're gonna get the other dude back. And then we're gonna try to fix up whatever's going on in there. Something's happening. I love that one is still partying in the hot tub. He never, he never stopped. He's always partying. He's oh, literally always there. He's just, he's absolutely just stuck in that water. But in my mind, he's just keeping the party going. You know? Help me so much with my aesthetic on builds. Me and my boyfriend uh, live watching your challenge videos. Please make more. Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. Okay. I would love to do another challenge video. It has been a hot minute since I've done one. The one that the last one I did, was it with Blockdown? That one was so funny. <laughs> Such a fun time. It's actually so stressful 
like seeing what you can build in an hour when you're like actually legitimately trying to gather stuff too. I didn't know if I could make it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Come on. Is he still in the lead? Oh yeah, he is. Okay. We're gonna have to do the drop. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. He's chilling. He's chilling. He's chilling. He's chilling. He's not chilling! Oh! Oh no! Oh! <laughs> Stop! S stay away! Stay away! Don't look! Don't look! Don't look, Snuffles! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh no! Oh no. Yeah, we we've got to we've got to make a we've got to make a little bit of a grave for that one. Oh no, I'm so sorry Snuffles. I'm so sorry, dude. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Snuffles is never he's never going to forgive me, man. He's never going to forgive me for that. He's he's actually giving me the cold shoulder. Look at that. He's not even talking to me. Okay, fine. I'll I'll give you some space. I'll give you some space. Oh no. Okay. I think we need to honor that sniffer and maybe maybe make a little bit of a grave for him. Can I get some Can I get some Fs in chat? F's in chat. Oh yeah, I should probably leash them. You're so right. You're so right. Okay, let me do that. <laughs> Did you say shake it off? Shake it off, dude! It's fine. <laughs> oh no. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Yeah, let's put let's put one of them on a post. Oh no. That was a tragedy. How did you even get in here? Oh no, where'd he go? There he is, okay. Okay, Snuffles, you're going there. This guy, he's literally stuck in the hot tub. He's, he, I don't think he's getting out. So. Oh no, okay, we gotta, we gotta honor this dude. He didn't even have a name, man. We've gotta put something on the, on the grave though. We gotta put something come up with a name really quickly. Don't worry. I've got this. I'm great at names. <sighs> that was bad. That was bad. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I did that chat. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna have to make one. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, like, first of all, let's get a sign. Second of all, I'm gonna need some deep slate and some coarse dirt, of course. I cannot believe that just happened. I didn't think he, I honestly thought he, he would, he would take that fall. I thought he had like some, like, I don't know, shoes with some good rubber soles, but apparently he didn't. Apparently he did not. Yeah, his, his partying days are absolutely over. Oh my. My native language is Russian. I'm in love with your English pronunciation because it doesn't take much effort for me to understand your speech. I'm very excited about it. Oh, that makes me so happy to hear. Also, welcome on in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks so much for popping in. Oh gosh, okay. I need the deep slate. Okay. Need some 
deep slate. And then coarse dirt. And we should probably go to bed. That was a nightmare. Yeah, they were literally better off living in that pit, weren't they? <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Tinker Bell, more like Tinker Fell. <laughs> Do I call it? Wait, am I naming it Tinker Bell or Tinker Fell? Tinker Fell. Uh, let this be a message to all sniffers. Yeah, this is what happens if you leave. If you leave. You, have you ever seen the M. Night Shyamalan movie, The Village? Let that. Oh, this cow is mourning too. He's so sad. Look at him. He's staring off into space like, bruh. Can't believe it. How are all these animals getting in here? This is no longer a sniffer sanctuary. This is just like an all animal sanctuary. Okay, I feel like this is a good spot for the grave. Let's just put this here. And then here. I guess maybe I should... I mean, he didn't... He kind of just disintegrated. So I think we're just going to leave it as is, aren't we? And then... Rest. In peace. Tinker. Fell. What? When did I make this thing? I think I made it 2023. So sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. That was that was totally on me. You know what? Maybe I should I I should leave something with him. I'm gonna leave something with him. Chat. Let me just get a barrel so I can actually put it put it away. But I'm gonna leave something with him. That ain't no sanctuary. Listen. Listen. It's out of our control. There's insurance for a reason. There's there's liability. Things happen. Accidents happen. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, let's get just Rest in peace one big flat piece. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh gosh, sorry. Rest in pieces would be appropriate here. Oh, I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I did this and you all witnessed it too. Oh. Bigger grave needed. You're so right. You're so okay, you're so right. Hold on a second. You're so right. We're not doing this right. Yeah, it at least needs to be a two by six. At least. You're so right. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're all so right. Okay, let me let me make this better. There's we gotta fix this. It's it's at least gotta be a a two by three or a two by six. Is this your first animal loss in this world? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> but this one, that one was pretty bad. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. This no. This has to be the first one for real. For real. I was thinking about it. I was like, yeah, we we'll probably lost like a cow or a chicken, but I don't think we have. I don't think we have chat. Okay. Well, I have. Okay, let's grab that. I know. Are we accomplices now? Unfortunately, you are all accomplices. Although nothing happened. He took, he assumed the risk. He's the one that said, okay, I'm jumping. You all heard that, didn't you? When we were going, when we were going off the roof, I said, 
hey, we're going off the roof now. And the sniffer was like, okay. And then you all heard him. He said, okay, I'm going to jump all by myself. I chose to do this. It's in no way Drift's fault. She is not responsible for this in any way. You heard that, right? I heard that come out of his mouth. I'm pretty sure. You heard that too, right, Sniff Sniffles? Yeah, he did. You didn't hear that because you were splish splashing, you know? There we go. I think that's appropriate, you know? I think. Okay, so I just need to leave a barrel behind. I think, I think we're gonna put in, I think I'm gonna put the lead in there. He would have wanted it. He, he thought that lead was, it was, it, it's like a nice lead that he ordered from like a specialty shop. He was like really weird about it. He was like, oh, this one's like fine leather. You wouldn't get it. I spent like, you wanna know how much I spent on it? And I was like, no, I don't need to know how much you spent on it. And he was like, ask me how much I spent on it. I said, okay, how much did you spend on it? And he was like, oh, like $300. And I was like, okay, it's like kind of a rip off. But if you're into like, into like collecting like leather leads and stuff, that's fine. So I'll leave that. Um, And also his pitcher pod, he dropped that on impact. And of course, you know, everybody in this world is a twilight fan we all we all came here together so i'm gonna leave that as well all right rest in rest in peace big guy rest in peace <sighs> I can never go back there, can I? Can never go back there. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, well, what do we even do now with that hanging over our heads, you know? And to be fair, though, there actually are a couple more sniffers that we could go corral later. <laughs> There's a bunch that got loose. How do you breed sniffers again? Is it just the seeds? I'd like to get a couple more. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, geez. All right, let's get some of this stuff away because it is definitely just filling up my inventory. Rails, put that in redstone. I think we're good with the books for now. We've got plenty. Uh, enchanting, we'll get some books here. What do I even have? Wow, I have a lot of stuff. Cool. And we could probably put, I don't have a good like a super good bow yet. I'm going to wait on that, but we can probably put protection on one of our chest plates or something as well. Did I kill any of the axolotls? I don't think so. We have some down in our mine, actually. Did we name them? I think we did. I think they're chilling. I enjoy your videos so much. Uh, such cool inspo. Trying to figure out all the mechanics of Minecraft myself. We'll watch this video later, though, uh, on my way to bed. Oh, thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful night. The eclipse is today. Yeah, the eclipse is today. I think it's going to be starting soon where I am in like an hour or so. That's why I wanted to get like a little bit of a head start on the stream. So we could uh, just hang out because I might dip by the time the eclipse happens. So this is a... Uh, where our axolotls are. They're all chilling, actually. They are totally A-OK. -okay. Look at that. Look at that. They're swimming around. Just just proving that nothing bad has happened, chat. Nothing bad has happened to the axolotls. That is my proof. That is indeed my proof. You don't need not worry. Break time? Yeah, I think we're going to head for a quick little break. Actually, how about we... This seems relatively safe, right? I mean, I'm going to pause the game anyway, but how about we take a quick little break uh, chat and I will be back in a moment. Everybody stretch your legs, all that stuff, and I will be back shortly. All right, BRB.
Hello. Hello, hello. Hope you all had a good break. We are back. Also, Christy, happy birthday. Hope you have a wonderful day. Can you do a 200 days with Cozy Farmer? Absolutely. I will be starting that shortly. Um, just got a little bit busy with my move and such, but now that I'm a little bit more settled, I'm going to be starting on that, uh, I think this week. So those take a couple, I would say like a couple weeks to make. So hopefully it'll be done soon. There's a lot of stuff that we, uh, we did not finish in the farming, uh, series, the hundred days that I would love to continue working on. So I am very excited. Lots of fun projects to do. There's a live stream of the eclipse from NASA on YouTube. What, really? Okay, I'm gonna probably keep an eye out on that. It's so cloudy here. Moon was saying how the eclipse might cause it so like the clouds dissipate, but I don't have proper glasses to actually see it anyway. So I think um, I might keep that on while it happens as well. I'm very excited. Anna, welcome on in, how you doing? Louisa, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm excited for the eclipse. I don't know if I've ever properly, like, seen one before. Or if there has have been some, I've been, like, in a path where it's, like, only partial. But I heard this one's gonna be pretty wild today. Um, like, my, I know my niece, uh, her school got canceled, which makes sense because I think the time it's happening is around the time that most schools are, like, kind of ending for the day. So I'm sure like they didn't want to deal with like bus drivers having to like deal with that and then have a bunch of kids being like, what's that? And like stare directly into the sun. So my niece was off today. Uh, my dad came over for a bit. He was watching her. Um, they came by to pick up a bunch of cardboard <laughs> because obviously when you when we've moved, we had like a bunch of cardboard boxes and stuff. So he's been like kind of picking it up for me and uh taking some of it so it, it can all just like get uh taken by recycling which is very nice and we were just hanging out this morning love your videos just started watching your channel i'm a big fan now oh thank you so much blessed thank you thank you i appreciate it thanks for popping on in all right so the sniffers are escaping from somewhere um i think there's a couple of points that they could probably escape like i think things like this would allow them to because if I can hop it, I think they can. Um, I'm almost wondering if building like even more fencing, it, it would be ugly, but I think it would be practical, like putting in more fencing and stuff so they just can't breach it. You know what I mean? You saw one years ago, it was wild. Yeah, I'm like, ugh, I'm wondering if there's like a place where I can run and get glasses quickly. I almost regret not getting any, but people were saying this morning that there's some like Canadian companies who are selling them, but they're not legit ones. And I'm like, I don't want to wreck my eyeballs. <laughs> so thousands of people flock to my city to see it. I believe that's what some people are doing um, to some of the areas in Canada as well. Cause I think Niagara is the area that has like totality. So a lot of people are going there and I think Hamilton as well, I'm pretty sure. So a bunch of people are making their way there. I know my friends today, they're traveling uh, from the city to go to Hamilton to watch it, which is really cool. Uh, let's make some more fencing. I feel like this would be a good way to block off some of those points of entry, I guess. Last one I remember seeing was many, many years ago because it was still when I worked. We stood outside in the car park watching it. Oh, that would be so fun. So, so fun. Darling, welcome on in. Uh, what's next for a building in this world? I think the next thing I want to tackle in Chill Survival would be a storage hall. I think we're pretty well set up with all of our like book enchantments and stuff like that. I think I'd like to get better storage for sure. All right, let's start blocking some of this off. Moon, welcome back. Nice to see ya. There we 
we go. So they can't, I'm guessing if I can't jump it, they can't jump it, you know? That's kind of the rule that I'm going by. If we just like block some of this off, it may not look amazing, but at least we're not gonna run into the problem of just like losing sniffers constantly. Cause that's been a little bit of an issue. If they get up here, there's nowhere for them to go really. That's one of the problem spots. I don't think this is, but I'll just put something there anyway. And then we could, um, we could try to breed a couple more too. Yeah, I really hope the clouds like dissipate uh, wherever it's like actually the totality is happening. Cause I, I hope that for everyone's sake who is traveling, they can actually see it. Cause it's one of those things that's definitely like a once in a lifetime event, right? Oh, you, you don't have any clouds, Chloe? Nice, that's awesome. Wait, Sonic is selling them if you get a shake? What a, what a, what marketing is that? That's wild. That is absolutely wild. Huh. That's wild. I love space so much, it's wild stuff. I would become an astronomer if I had the brains, honestly. Honestly. You can use the cardboard, a cardboard box to watch the effects. So is that like kind of when you make one of those, um, like basically something so you can observe it, like it reflects it into the cardboard, right? Or something like that. Some, some type of science with, uh, I'm guessing it's like, it almost works as like a camera, if that makes sense. Is what I'm trying to explain. I'm wondering if the, yeah, I'm wondering if the clouds are gonna go away. Cause I'm like, I would love to kind of be able to see some of this, you know? This looks so bad, but I feel like at this point it's a necessity. Otherwise we're gonna keep losing sniffers. Gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Am I Canadian? I am indeed. I, uh, I live in Ontario. There we go. Oh yeah, I heard libraries are also giving them away as well. Canadian legend, I love that. That is, that's just such a nice compliment, thank you. <laughs> Oops, all of this stuff they can jump on as well. I think I'm gonna kind of like block this off. Like I said, not the prettiest looking thing, but at least we can kind of prevent this from happening again. Then I think we will probably be safe to breed some sniffers. I'd like to get a couple more since we've lost so many. <laughs> can they get up over here? Possibly. I feel, yeah, I feel like they could maybe jump that. So let's just get that there. I feel like this is mostly safe. Let's, let's free cam it. They can't get up there. That's too high. Might be, oh, you know what? They might be able to jump that. That's like an easy, easy way out. Oh, watch through a phone camera. I didn't even consider that. I love that. Canadian but, uh, buddies, Canada represent. All right, let's just get like this. Really just pulling out all the stops here, chat. No more, no more sniffers are getting through. <laughs> this looks so bad, but it's it's got to be done. It's got to be done. Also, Froggy, welcome back. Uh, you missed probably the most tragic thing. I tried to bring a sniffer off of this house and he just, he sent it. 
and he just sent it a little bit too much and he fell to his death. It was awful. So now we have a um, we have a we have a grave for him. <clears throat> we have a little grave for him right here. I would not watch the eclipse through a phone camera. Oh, like wait. I'm trying to think. How would you watch an eclipse through a phone camera? I mean, I guess maybe if you recorded it. Could it damage your sensor though? Can it can an eclipse damage your phone sensor? When you had the partial eclipse in your area years ago, it was cloudy the entire time. It was still cool as it just turned to dusk, then uh, night, then dawn. That is wild. I'm, I feel like I'm going to be a little scared when it happens. I'm going to be a little scared, chat. I'm a little bit of a baby. It'll be cool, but I'm going to be like, ah, oh, what is happening? How long does, how long does it go on for too? Like, how long am I in it for? Just found your channel recently. Um... Uh, do I need to tell you how much I love with in, in love with your content? Thank you so much. Hope you hope to get to your level of building one day. Oh, thank you so much for popping into the stream and saying that. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Typical infinite drift behavior, honestly. Honestly, I knew you'd say that. I knew you'd say that, Froggy. <laughs> I have I feel like I have a track record at this point. <laughs> I read online you're not supposed to watch or record. So it can wreck your phone. Okay. It's gonna get dark. Oh no. I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna get scared, chat. I'm gonna get a little a little frightened. It's in at least an hour? Okay. I've got a little bit of time. I've got a little bit of time here. Or it lasts like at least an hour. A couple hours from start to finish. So like how? I feel like, okay, I'm not like in a zone of like totality, but like I pretty sure like it's like we're probably going to get like in the 90% of coverage. How how long is it like dark for? Will it literally be an hour? Or is it going to be like a couple minutes? Three Minecraft days. Okay, got it. Got it. <laughs> uh, new subscriber from your previous Cozy Survival uh, movie. Love it so much. Uh, love from Nepal. Always appreciate your gameplay. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And thanks for popping in. Really, really appreciate it. Especially that you're all vibing with uh, with this series. I've had so much fun in this world. So I'm glad you all like it as much as I do. Okay, so it will wreck the phone. Okay, I will, I will not, I will not pull out my phone for this then. I will not. Come on. Oops. Okay, if I can't reach out, the sniffers can't. I think we're fine. I think we're good, chat. Except maybe here, too. Oh my gosh, there's so many animals in here now. I think they all just live here now, you know? Okay, can they get through here? I don't think they can. Nah, there's no way. Oh, there, there's another animal just coming in to see what the drama is. Why do they... They're all like, what's up? What's up? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think I'm going to put the live stream on for sure. My area is three for the best time. Yeah, I think it's like around. I read earlier, it's like around 2.30 maybe for my area or something. <clears throat> it looks like you're about to get 50 to 60% coverage where, where you are. That's wild. It's less than 10 minutes. Okay. I can handle that. I don't, I'm not going to be a baby about it. I'm not going to be a baby about it. Okay, maybe I'm going to be a little bit of a baby. Tells my brothers because they get to watch the clips with our papa and I don't get to. Aw, Moon, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to... I need seeds. I need the... Is it torch seeds or something to breed them? Because I need more sniffers. I've got some issues here. We need more sniffers. You know, I think I can let Snuffles go now. I think he can be trusted. Snuffles, be free. Go. Start sniffing. Go. Sniff away.
Sniff away, my friend. Sniff away. Oh, he's gonna dig something up. Did they dig up the pitcher plot pod stuff as well? Yes, they do. Okay. Pitcher pods. You can't turn that into seeds, though. Dude, I need the seeds. I need the seeds, man. I need the seeds, bro. Oh, oh, that's an egg. I do not need that. Okay, I do have... Listen here, chat. Listen here. I do have a couple more sniffers. Can they get out through here? I'm just gonna really seal this off really seal that off i do have a couple sniffers that escaped and like ran up a mountain <laughs> so I'm, go I'm gonna go get them <clears throat> tracked to this channel from its thumbnail building skill and your voice oh thank you so much i appreciate that for the time the moon begins to cross in front of the sun it's completely past is 2.5 hours okay okay i'm i'm excited but nervous pluto will catch you later Thanks so much for hanging out. The torch flower seeds are the ones that breed the sniffers. Okay, so the pitcher pods we don't need right now. <clears throat> yeah, give me the seeds, man. Give me the seeds. You don't, you don't want to know what happened to the last guy. Not that there was an accident or nothing. Nothing happened, you know? Oh, there's one. They're literally just like roaming around. It's so funny. I was gonna leave these dudes. What happened here? I think, okay, I would never leave this here. I legitimately think there was like a fire once on this hill. It wasn't me, chat. I would never half chop down a tree, especially the the bottom ones. I would, I would leave the top of the tree, if anything. Come on. Gotta go back to work. No worries, Chloe. Enjoy the eclipse as well. Oh, what's in here? Nothing. Oh, thank God. Oh, what's in here? Oh, there's junk in there. I left that a long time ago. I always cover these up when I'm making my thumbnails. <laughs> now you all know. The secret's out. I just cover up the chest and then, like, get rid of the stuff later. But that one I kind of forgot, I guess. Shh. Come on. Come on. The mysterious logs, they were not me. I swear. I swear. All right, we're bringing you back home, buddy. Chat, how should I do this? Should I risk it by... by sending him down from the house? Or should we actually just, like, build a bridge to, like, go over the gates? Actually, I think if I open the gates, he'll be fine. He's moving. He's motoring. Let's go. Don't push this one. Okay. I won't. <laughs> I won't. I'll, I'll open the gates. I'll open the gates this time. <laughs> okay, fine, 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 fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. Not again. No. All of chat's like, what are you doing, you monster? Honestly, fair enough. I deserve it. Okay, let's, let's just bring him back. Through the gate. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's sniffing. He's sniffing. He's digging. What's he got for us? Oh, hey, that's what I needed. I feel like I need two, though. At least two. My name's Simon. I'm from Sweden. Just want to say I love your videos and uh, specifically the story ones with your friends. So nice to listen to while I'm working. Oh, Simon, thank you so much for popping in and saying that. So, so happy you're vibing with my content. Love that you're vibing with the SMP content because I always love playing with my friends. That makes me happy to hear. Yeah, the Enderman just took apart the trees, you know? It was the Enderman, of course. Just started watching a series a couple days ago and it's so good. Your voice is so relaxing. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Honestly, thank you guys for watching this series. Like, I love making these episodes. They're so fun. So it makes me so happy that you're all vibing with it. Come on. I don't know. I feel like if we open up... I don't think it, the sniffer can necessarily fit through one gate. But I'm, I'm, I have faith he could fit through two to three. You know? Come on. 
The graveyard can only be so big. That's true. So true. So true. All right. He's going to fit. He's going to fit. See? He did it. He did it. We got him. We brought him back. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, what's this? What is this secret little message? Which one of you? Which one of you wrote that, huh? Which one of you wrote that? That's so, that's so cheeky. Okay, you, you've been enjoying the hot tub too much. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what? He like sprang towards me. I'm sorry. I know, I know he's like vibing, but I need seeds. I need seeds. I need you all. I need you all to get seeds for me. Oh, Morningstar, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Honestly, it makes me so, so happy hearing you all. Um, how much some, some of my content helps you all and stuff. It, it really means a lot to hear that. So thank you. All right, we... Oh, he's digging. He's digging. What you got for me? Making something good? Yes! Oh my gosh. Amazing. Oh, he's so happy. He's so happy about that. All right, we're going to feed. Do we have to? I, I feel like we got to get them kind of close to each other. You over here. And then torch flower seed, torch flower seed. Baby sniffers are probably one of the cutest things I've ever seen. So. Oh, the sniffer egg. Do I put the egg down? I don't remember. What do I do with this? Can, so, can one of you guide me? What do I do with this? Do I just like plop it down on moss or something? Oh yeah. Oh, here we go. It's vibing. It's chilling. Caitlin, welcome on in. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Continuing the birthday party with cake and presents as we watch. Oh, that's exciting. I hope you hope you're having a great time with the the cake and presents. He got mad at me for kicking him out of the hot tub. Honestly, I think so. He was vibing in there. Absolutely vibing. Okay, I think we can go to bed. The sniffer eggs take a while, I'm pretty sure. Vince, welcome on in. Your 100 days vid was what got me hook, line, and sinker. Listened to it for hours as I was drying. You kickstarted my imagination, and I love your calming voice. Aw, oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Well, got that 200 days. Well, I'm going to get that started this week, so very much looking forward to doing that. Like I said, there Marcel Farms has a long way to go. Marcel Farms just... There's so much to be done, you know? Oh, my God. What is happening? I was gone for two seconds. This place I need to torch up because every time I let the sun set and immediately mobs are like, yo, what's up? What's up? Ah! No! Oh my gosh. Need a froggy drift collab sometime soon? Yo, me too. Me too, froggy. We got to make that happen sometime soon. We could be so powerful. We are powerful whenever we collab, honestly. It's been a hot minute. The last one we did was our uh, Christmas dreams. That was the last one. It's been far too long. All right, let's torch this up while we're waiting for our precious sniffers to grow. So mobs no longer spawn. This is just a nightmare. Rachel, welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Aw, oh, I'm so, so sorry to hear you were having a bad day. Glad glad the stream has made it a bit better for you, though. Found your content this past week. Me and my son have been binge watching as many of your videos as we can each day. I have uh, even been using your videos to watch while going to sleep. Oh, Frankie, thank you so much for popping in and saying that. I appreciate it. So happy uh, you and your son are enjoying it. I really appreciate the support. Imagine a froggy, blocky, drifty collab. That would just be pure chaos. Like, I'm here for it, but also imagine how scary that would be. <laughs> I'm like, 
yes, but also I'm scared. You watching over the egg? Yeah, me too, buddy. Me too. Get in line. Wait, is this? Okay, I did put it on a moss block. It's all good. It kind of sparkled when I put it down. So it's, is there a way to speed up this process? Can I like feed it something? Is there something I can do? Can I, can I give you a little pat? A little pat for good luck? Pat, pat. Oh, oh my God, it worked. It worked. It loves me. Come on, pat, pat. You're doing great. You're doing great, buddy. Oh wait, I have an observation room up here. I forgot about that. Come on. Okay, I feel like I feel like I'm being overbearing right now. I'll come back. I'll come back. I'll come back. It's fine. This place is no longer a sniffer sanctuary. It's just a sanctuary for all these animals. What is going on? It's a disaster. It's it's like a post post rave. They never none of them ever left. Or did I just crack it? Honestly, it's possible I just did. <laughs> I probably broke it. Let's be real. I'm wondering, can you pick them up or once you put them down is it like done for, you know? I feel like if I tried to pick it up it would break for sure. All right, I need to distract myself. I need to distract myself and keep busy while I anxiously await this. The arrival of Baby Sniffer. Oh, you know what? In the meantime, what we could do, we could trade with some of these dudes because I'd like to get some name tags, you know? I'd, I'd like to get a couple name tags because maybe what we can do is name the Sniffer together. You know what I mean? We could, we could give the brand new sniffer a little name. So let's trade for some emeralds and get some name tags available to us. Also, I could use these levels for reals. Honestly, trading iron is just so OP. I love it. Okay. Jenny, welcome on in. So nice to see you. I hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, Let's grab some bookshelves, I guess. Level this dude up. Come on. Oh my gosh, these are expensive. Maybe I could trade paper with this dude? I'll just, yeah, I'll do like a loop. Like trade paper for emeralds and then trade emeralds for book. And then I can just level up one of these guys, right? And then eventually, one of them's gotta give me a name tag. One of them does. All right, I need some more paper. We've got tons of sugar cane, so. What was that? Ugh. This pile of bones. What the heck? What the heck, chat? What was that? Okay, we'll put out we'll, we'll put out a little poll. Just a little poll. I feel like I feel like it would be almost mean to name it after me considering what happened to the last sniffer. <laughs> I feel like naming it after me would almost be like <laughs> just bad. Just bad. <sighs> All right, I need a crafting table. I guarantee by the time we're done this, little baby sniff, little baby sniff is gonna be all grown up. Okay, why do I like the name Lil Baby Sniff, though? Are you all vibing with that? Because I am. Lil Baby Sniff. Come on. Level up. Level up. I don't want any of this. I don't want... Actually, you know what? Lanterns are pretty good. That's a pretty good trade, my guy. What about you guys? 
how far down are name tags? I feel like it's one more level until I have to. Uh, yeah, it might be. I might have to do a couple, uh, couple little rounds of this, eh? Okay, should we go check up on soon to be whatever name we choose? That's its name right now. I kind of like that name. Can we just name it soon to be whatever name we choose? I think that's a pretty, it kind of rolls off the tongue, you know? I feel like that's a good one. It's a winner. Okay, soon to be whatever name we choose. Is Aya's name again? I forget. It, maybe it doesn't roll off the tongue. Ooh, more seeds. 12 minutes till the eclipse? Oh my gosh, chat. Do you think this egg will hatch in 12 minutes? Because I'm going to have to go soon. Is it their last trade? Oh no, is it really? No! Really? Oh man. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna try to trade a little bit more. We've got about 12-ish minutes, I think. Should name an eclipse to celebrate the event. That's a, that's a cute idea too. Are you excited for the eclipse? I am, I can't look at it because I don't have anything to look at it with, but I'm excited, like it's, it's kind of weird to experience something like that, I think. So I'm I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be interesting for sure. There we go. All right. Yeah, we'll do a we'll do a couple more rounds of trades. Uh if little baby sniff hatches, that's great. If not, we'll we'll catch him in the next stream. I'm gonna start trading for some lanterns though. Okay, this guy's about to level up, I think. Oh, he's ready to go. Glass! That's it, sir. That's it. Oh man. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to trade a little bit more. Okay, so we're not gonna worry about the name tag today. I think we're gonna have to do that another day, but let's let's go over to little baby sniff before we uh before we have to end the stream. Because I, I want to see him. I want to see our little guy. I feel like he's he's about to hatch, you know? I feel like he is. Oh, little baby sniff. Little baby sniff. Where may you be? Oh! <gasps> He's gone, which means he's around here. Where is little baby Sniff? Is he grown already? No way, ain't no way. He's just a little guy, where is he? Where's little baby Sniff? Hello? Where are you at? Where's he at? Okay, I gotta go to bed. We gotta find this dude though. Chat, I can't leave not knowing where little baby Sniff is. What the? There he is! Oh, ow. Oh, you're so cute. Look at him, look at him go. He's just so tiny. He's just so tiny, he's like, He's like the size of a industrial freezer, but he's so tiny. You know, like those freezers that you can get, like you can buy like deep freezers for like your basement or your garage. He's like the size of that, you know? That is adorable. Oh my gosh. Look at him go. Look at him go. Should we call him deep, deep freezer? Industrial size deep freezer? I feel like that would be such a great name for him. I feel like that's a, a really... Yeah, cre Creeper Fridge Sniffer. That's great. 
That's great. See, look, they all, they're all getting along now, too. I love it. That makes me so happy. Well, we... It started in tragedy. Things started in, in tragedy. But we we ended on a very good note today because we brought this little guy into the into the Minecraft world. And look at him. He's just he's just chilling. Look at him. Yeah, Eclipse or Deep Freezer. Those are those are gonna be the names. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Never heard of this chest freezer? They're like they're literally just like they open like a chest and they're just deep freezers. I don't know if they'd be popular where, where you are, Azzy. They're very common in Canada and probably the US. It's just like an extra freezer for people to have because so many people just like deep freeze things like meat and just like Costco size stuff. Target creeper fridge, goaded name. Okay, we've got some options. We've got some options that we're going to have to keep for um another stream because I should probably probably end things soon actually okay wait wait before we end this before we end this we're not, we're not going anywhere just yet hold on a second i might have a name tag let me double check let me double check i know eclipse would be such a good name too you know where's what is an easy way to get a name tag though what's an easy way to get one because i'm like the trades would work, but the trades are actually pretty expensive. So. I'm not pulling your leg. I'm not. I swear. I'm not. They, they actually exist. They actually do exist. Okay, mob blue. It's not in there. Enchanting. No. I thought maybe I'd have one just like hanging around somewhere. Look up like deep freezer and you'll see what I mean. They're just like giant freezers that people have. I used to have one growing up and I remember my mom would always buy like big size of like pizza pockets, but it'd be in the basement and I'd be too afraid to go get it because I'm a huge baby. Oh, abandoned mines, that's true. Fishing. My friend has one in the garage. Yes. They're often kept in the garage or like basements. Oh man, we might we might have to um we might have to name name the sniffer in the next stream. But the good news is we're back chat. We are back. So, no worries. <laughs> Strangest thing, you Google search freezer and all you're seeing is a creeper mini fridge. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that. <clears throat> we had one of those. My grandparents were bee farmers, so we froze uh, beef farmers. I, I read bee. I don't know why. And then you freeze whatever, whatever beef they give you. Yes. Yeah, it was really handy for stuff like that. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting... I don't think I'm getting it today, chat. Don't think I'm getting it today. I live on a farm. We have two deep freezers in our basement full of meat and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ours was mostly full of like snacks. It was always just weird snacks. And then, yeah, if like meat went on sale somewhere, my parents would buy extra and freeze it. Is BTD here? We love you, BTD, if you're here. Oh, yeah, I'm making it up. They're only creeper fridges and ranch beverages. Okay, yeah, I'm totally making it up. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh! You, like, instantly leveled up. Oh, come on, really? Really? I just bought so much glass that I'll never use, sir. That's it? What is that, sharpness two? Why would I ever want sharpness two? Come on. What is this? 14 books. Oh my gosh, this guy's this guy's pulling my leg. Is this some is this some joke? Are you all just in cahoots with one another? I really leveled up with that though. That's a that 
glass is a pretty good trade. I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of I was kind of giving him a hard time, but like that got me to level 30. What? Huh? Oh my gosh. That's wild. Okay, I'm gonna do one more round of trades with these dudes. I don't think the guy in the middle is gonna give us that name tag. But I'm gonna do one more round with these dudes. And then try with one more librarian villager. Last name Drift, first name Infinite. All right, 45 emeralds. And let's try trading with this guy. Oh wait, we can't, we can't. Okay, let's try trading with this dude. I have hopes. Oh my gosh, he just like completely took all- Oh, he's gonna level up. Let him do his thing. Mexico's in full eclipse now? Oh my gosh, okay, so I feel like it's gonna happen like soon-ish for me. Okay, we got lanterns for this trade. Let me just double check chat what time it's gonna be for me. Oh, okay. Very soon then. Between two o'clock and four o'clock. Why is that such, that's such a large window? But that's very, I mean, it's past two o'clock now, so I should probably, should probably pack it up then. Cause I'm, I, I think I might go, Um, I can't look at the eclipse cause I don't have the glasses, but if it's gonna go dark here, I think I'm just gonna put the eclipse on my TV and just like kind of enjoy it, you know? I think that's probably going to be it for today, chat. So maybe in the next stream, what we're going to do is we cannot forget we have to name the sniffer. We have to name that sniffer. We're going to do a little poll. So we stream on YouTube every Monday. Um, so we're going to be back to our regular schedule. We stream on YouTube on Mondays at 12 p.m. EST. So uh, keep an eye on my YouTube channel. I'll go live uh, the Discord as well. Uh, you can check that out. That's usually where I post any announcements if there's any changes or cancellations. And also we stream on Twitch on Fridays at 12 p.m. EST as well. And if you can't catch those streams, we uh, get the VODs up on my second channel. So you can check them out there. And yeah, everybody, thank you so much again for coming back to streaming with me. It's been a hot minute since we've done this. I had so, so much fun today. We have lots of fun, fun stuff that we can do in this world uh next week we'll be back on youtube so we'll name the sniffer and all of that stuff and once again i just like to thank everybody for all of the generosity with all of the super thanks thank you so much just for hanging out i had so much fun with you all today uh lots of new people here today so i wanted to say thank you all for coming on in hope you enjoyed it and with that i'll see you either on twitch on friday or youtube next monday all right everybody i'll catch you all later